Hey guys, what's up? You're watching Brett's iPod Help, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to jailbreak the newly released iOS 4.3.3 for your iDevice. Uh, now, 4.3.3 was only released for the iPhone 4 GSM, uh, the 3GS, the iPod Touch 4th and 3rd generation, along with only the iPad 1st generation, not the 2nd generation. Uh, so, not the iPhone 4 CDMA or the iPad 2, so keep that in mind. Don't try this jailbreak if you're running those two devices. Now for this jailbreak you're going to be needing three things. The first thing is obviously Red Snow and you can find the link down below. It is a tethered jailbreak so keep that in mind and it is 0.9.6 RC14. Now the second thing you are going to be needing is the iOS 4.3.3 firmware and I'll have a link down below for you guys to check that out and get it for your own device. Now the third thing you are going to be needing is iOS 4.3.2 and you can find that from the link down below. So this jailbreak is based off the iOS 4.3.2 way of jailbreaking. So once you have extracted Red Snow, you'll get this folder right here and you can just click the Red Snow folder or the application right here and then click browse and here is my firmware right here. So it's the 4.3.2 firmware. So that's what you have to select and then open that up and then it should process. And then once that has been identified, you can click next and it should uh, prepare jailbreak data. And then from here, you can enable what you want. So make sure Cydia is enabled. And if you want, you can check out some other stuff here. And once you have finished that, and then from here, I'm gonna be guiding you on how to put your device in DFU mode. Uh, so before you start this, make sure your device is powered off. So just hold that, slide to power off. And just give it a second, there we go. And then hold the home and power button for about 10 seconds. And after the 10 seconds is up, re keep your finger on the home button, but release the power button. So I'm going to do that right now. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. Just wait till you hear a little beep on your computer, and there you go, I just heard mine. Uh, so then you can put that down, and then I can, on your computer, you can hit next. So here we go, click next, and it should automatically start exploiting with Lime Rain. Uh, so if you have used Red Snow, you will know that this will take a few minutes. Uh, so just leave it be, and I'll come back to you once my device has been jailbroken. Okay, so my device has now booted up, and uh, if you open up your device and head over here, you'll see Cydia. Uh, it is a white icon, and if you try to open it up, it just crashes. Uh, so on your computer, you're going to be needing to do a few more steps. So head over to Red Snow and open it up again, and then browse for the firmware and choose the 4.3.2 firmware again. Uh, let that identify, and then click Next. Let it prepare jailbreak data. And right now you're going to be choosing just boot tethered now. So you will have to choose this every time you do boot up your device after shutting it off or if the battery dies. Uh, so then click next and enter DFU mode again. So I'll do it with you again. So slide to power off. And just power this off. And give it a minute here. And there you go. Uh, so just hold the home power button for 10 seconds or until you hear some activity on your computer. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. There we go. So now that you have done that, you can click next and it should automatically start booting up tethered for you. So now my, so my device is now powered up again and I can just unlock it here. You can see City as the full icon now. You can open this up, hold on, there we go. And uh, I've already gone and opened it up the first time and it's already resprung. And uh, you can just choose user, click done, and there you go, Cydia works fine. So uh, yeah, that works. And to show you that I am on 4.3.3, I'm gonna open up general, about, and scroll down there, 4.3.3, you can see that right there. And I do have Cydia on my, uh, for my icons. So if you guys have any issues, questions, or comments, please leave them below. I will try and get to every single one. And if you have found this tutorial useful, please hit the like button. And if you already haven't, please hit the subscribe button. And I hope you guys have a nice time with your 4.3.3 jailbreak. So guys, I will see you in the next video. Peace.